Hi, YouTubers and watchers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, this time around, I'm going to have a shave with Mitchell's Wool Fat Soap. This soap is absolutely wonderful, and it's very, very easy to lather. I don't know where this whole idea started that it's difficult to lather. It's not. You drop the puck in, you put some water on top, you use, uh, well, I use a good synthetic brush, and I have no problem building a lather with this. I just load the brush, do a face lather, and I get uh, heaps of uh, shaving cream uh, on my face. Really, really great. Really nice, fresh scent. It's not overstated. Kind of rather, rather low and muted, but it's very nice, so it's not going to clash with any other kind of aftershave or cologne that you might use uh, post-shave. So it's very nice. The puck, when you first get it, if you saw my previous video, uh, doesn't fill the uh, the bowl, but uh, after several uses, you can see that it starts to fill there. I even have some openings here. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and use it. The, what I do is I just start my water and I, uh, I just take the bowl and I put a little bit of water in there, boom, like that. That's all you need. If you saw that, that's all you need. There's not a lot there. Some is running down the sides a little bit. I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm also going to fill my sink here. We're going to be using my Vikings Blade White Knight Synthetic Badger Brush. This looks and feels like a real badger brush. It's nice and soft. Uh, it has very, very good backbone. Really like this a lot. So we're going to go ahead and soak that. And I am doing a cold water shave. So I put cold water in that shaving bowl with the Mitchell's Wool Fat because warm or cold, this soap is great to build a lather. Really, really terrific. That's enough water there. Uh, for my razor, I'm going to be using my Vikings Blade Vulcan Razor, Twist to Open Butterfly Razor. This is absolutely wonderful. It's a long handled razor. It's heavyweight. Love this razor. You can think of this as the big brother to the Vikings Blade Chieftain Razor. Very similar handle style and identical razor head. Boy, these are terrific, terrific razors. But I like the long handle for this shave. And uh, boy, oh boy, just great balance. And I love doing a third pass with this razor. There's just something about going against the grain with a longer handled razor that's just terrific. So we're gonna open that up. And the blade of choice we're gonna be using is uh, Shaver Boy. Yeah, I like these a lot. My friend Sheldon Quinn introduced these to me. So we're gonna go ahead and use this razor blade for the shave. They're, they're very affordable and you can get some really great shapes for these. So we're just going to go ahead and drop that in. And I love how easy it is to load these Viking Blade Twist Open Razors. Just absolutely terrific. And you can see right there, the perfect alignment, perfect blade balance. Boy, this is a terrific, terrific razor. Okay, and uh, we're going to finish it off with my uh, Ozma Alum Block. Boy, I like this a lot. Solid alum block. It's cut and machine from a larger alum block. It's not compressed or molded. That's really, really nice. And after that, we'll finish it all off with Stetson, Stetson Aftershave. This is cool moisture formula. It really is very, very nice, and it does feel like it has some moisturizing properties. So we're gonna use some upstairs and downstairs after the shave. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this soak a little bit more in the bowl, let that soak up a little bit, let that soap soften, let that soap puck soften up a little bit, and uh, I'll be right back. So uh, I'm gonna wait the equivalent of what it be, say, to take a shower. So um, let's just uh, let that set up, uh, soften up a little bit, and I'll be right back to continue the shave. Okay, the time that's passed has been the equivalent of a nice shower. So we're all set to go. Cold water shave, Mitchell's wool fat. Let me wet the face and we'll get right to this shave. Oh, that's great. Very nice. I like the invigorating feel of cold water for this shave. I really do. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna pour off the excess. Not much there. We're gonna get my brush and I'm gonna just give it a little ring and maybe a shake or two, and that's maybe two and a half, and that should be it. So there's my brush. 
There's my puck of Mitchell's wool fat in the Mitchell's wool fat ceramic soap dish. And we're gonna go ahead and load it and we're gonna to get to making a lather here. And really, this is not difficult to lather at all. It is very, very easy to build a lather with this soap. Just load the brush for a little while here, maybe 15 seconds. I think 10 seconds has gone by. Okay, that's about 15 seconds. That's all you gotta do. There it is right there. And we're gonna go ahead and do a face lather. Look how easy. And I'm using city water. I am not using uh, a water softener. To build a little more here. And I find that synthetic brushes just do a great job with hard soaps and shave sticks. I've said that before. And I'll continue to say that, and that's what I use. And I think that really is one of the key factors in building a good lather with a hard soap. But Mitchell's is probably the easiest soap to build a lather. That's been my experience. Very, very easy. Right off the bat, it was easy. I've done it with warm water, and now I'm doing it with cold water, and it's just as easy. So look at that. A great great thick lather on my face in, in seconds. Very nice. And this brush does a great job. And look how much I have on there. A lot. Okay, very good. We're going to put that aside. Rinse off my hands a little bit. I'm going to dry my hands. All right. Got my razor. We're all set to go. I like to wet it a little bit. When I was doing warm water shades, and I still do those, uh, when I, when I uh, uh, would warm up the razor with some hot water and then just swirl around the warm water, kind of bring it to temperature. I'd love to bring it to temperature just to have it, just to wet the razor to kind of get it ready. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Really nice, just a lot of nice protection with this shaving soap. Now the razor just glides right across. And you know, there is, a, with the cold water shave, characteristically, there's a little bit of tugging, but it's a good tugging. It's very little tugging with this. There's so much protection and slickness with this soap. That's the first pass, let's rinse. This razor and this soap are just a great combination. That was a great, great first pass. Really, really nice. A little bit better than most first passes, to be honest with you. Really nice. And again, look how much, how much lather I get again. And I did not dip back into, I rested it on the, on the puck. I rested it on the puck, you know, just kind of, just like this. I rested it on the puck like that, but I didn't get back into it because there's more than enough there. Now, I could, but there's more than enough there. Paints on, it paints on very easily. 
especially with this brush. Just this brush is just great for building a face lather and painting it on. It really is a very, very good brush. Okay. Okay, let's just dry my hands off a little bit there. All right, here we go. We're going to go with pass number two, east to west, across the grain. All right, that's the second pass. It's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, what a great shave. Wow, two passes and I'm, I'm done. I mean, I am ready for the office, not a problem at all. I wanna get a little closer. We're gonna do the third pass because I love doing the third pass with this razor. A little more water on my face there. And look, I wanted to show you, which is why I'm doing the third pass, that there is still a lot of cream and lather on this brush. And look how much I've got here. Look at that. And I could build a little more lather like this. More than enough for three passes. If you want to do a little bit of touch up, you could do that. But look, I mean, it's just, this stuff is great. Mitchell's wool fat, really, really terrific, terrific shaving soap. And again, nice scent. It flies a little bit under the radar, so it's not going to be, it's not going to overpower you if you don't like, if you don't care for strong scented soaps. This one's for you. It has a nice fresh scent, and it's not overpowering at all. Wow! Look at that. I mean, look, look. Amazing. Wonderful, wonderful shave soap. Terrific stuff, really. Let me just dry my hands here a little bit. Get my razor, swirl around a little bit, make sure it's good and clean. We're gonna go south to north against the grain. Very lightly. I already got the majority of it. You hear a little a spot here and there where getting a little closer, but for the most part the shave was done. But I gotta show you how easy it is to lather this soap and at the same time how much lather you get. Three passes, I mean, amazing, wonderful. Just gonna make sure I get my chin there because when I'm on camera, sometimes I don't cover that area as as uh, as closely as I want to, you know, because I'm paying attention to the camera and the mirror, that sort of thing. So. Yeah, that's got it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's rinse. Wow. Nice. Very <laughs> nice. Wow. Terrific, terrific shave. Uh, this uh, Vul the Vulcan. 
and the Rachel's Wool Fat, great combination. I'm gonna drain my sink. There you go. <laughs> and we're gonna do my final cold water rinse right from the tap. Here we go. All right, I got a fresh, clean towel waiting for me right here. Very nice. Really, really nice. What a, what a great shave. Really nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and use my Ozma Allen block and get some feedback here. Wet this and then apply it. Here we go. No stinging at all. Really no stinging at all. A couple of zings here and there, but for the most part, really nice. Very, very, very nice. So we're going to go ahead and dry this off. Dry this off. And then place it in our dish like that. It's a plastic dish I have. Bought this at uh, a Goodwill store for like 25 cents. And then I'm just going to set it aside and let it air dry and it'll be ready for the next shave. So I'm going to do a little cleanup and we're going to go ahead and let this set up uh, and uh, we'll get back to finishing this shave. All right. Just doing a little cleanup of my brush here. And the one thing I love about these synthetic brushes is look, you know, just a few shakes, towel them off like this, and they're just about dry. They're really, really easy to maintain. Uh, they're terrific. Uh, Vikings Blade White Knight, check it out because it has this nice weighted base, feels great in the hand, not too heavy, not too light. It just seems to be perfect. And uh, really, the, the synthetic fibers are terrific. I like them a lot. Okay, so we're gonna finish off with uh, Stetson uh, Cooling Moisture Formula. Here we go. And a little bit upstairs because there is a moisturizing quality to this. Just a little bit. Great, great shave. <laughs> Worth two claps, to be honest with you. Terrific, terrific stuff. Uh, Mitchell's Wool Fat shave soap. This stuff is great and you can see I still have some cream remnant in there. It's just terrific. Once you get the puck in there for the first time, add some water, let it soak in a little bit. The puck just seems to attach itself to the bowl. It expands and widens a little bit and fills out really, really well. Just put a little bit of water on there and let it soak in a little bit. Take your shower, come back, wait. Whatever that time is, just let that soak in there. Get a good synthetic shaving brush and uh, you will get a great shave with Mitchell's Wolf Fat Shave Soap. Very, very easy to build a lather. You saw, it, you saw me do it with, with warm water in a previous video. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, I did it very, very easily with uh, cold water in this shave here. I've been using it all week with uh, not only the Vulcan uh, Shave uh, Safety Razor, but uh, several other uh, razors, and each time I get a great result, but the Vulcan especially, uh, really one of my favorites uh, to use. Uh, I call the uh, Vikings Blade uh, Chieftain Vulcan Odin uh, Goldilocks razors. Not too aggressive, not too mild, just right. Really terrific razors. So if you haven't, uh, if, you, if, if you haven't seen them or used them, get one, add it to your collection. Really, really very, very good. Um, so that's it, Mitchell's Wool Fat Shave Soap. Boy, it gave me a terrific, close, comfortable, nick-free, irritation-free shave. The uh, really, really very nice, the Vikings Blade Vulcan really contributed to the comfort of the shave. But overall, this will work with any of your safety razors. Uh, really, really terrific, terrific product. It does have lanolin in it, so if you have an allergic reaction to lanolin, well, you might, you might want to investigate that a little further. Um, very, very small percentage of people react negatively to the lanolin 
Um, but uh, you know what? Hey, uh, uh, so far so good, knock wood. Uh, I don't have that reaction. I've been using it all week and I'm so glad that I discovered this soap and have been using it. Really, really, really terrific. So um, just keep that in mind in the back of your head that um, some folks just, you know, they don't, they don't take to lanolin too well. Uh, other than that, towel-based soap with lanolin and other good ingredients in there. Um, really like it a lot, so check it out. I'll have links below for it. Mitchell's Wool Fat Soap. All right, hey, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.